Hello, this is Alexis and today I'm going to show you the basics on how to connect your wheel to UC World. UC World is a third-party application and website founded by Sebastian Latsowski. At the moment, this app works only for Android devices. The alternative for Apple phones would be Darkness Boot. There are also apps from the manufacturers themselves, alias Bigode, Kingston and Emotion. Not yet for Leperkin, as far as I'm aware though. Regardless of that, all UC brands can connect to UC World App as long as they have a Bluetooth module. I personally use UC World App for all of my wheels instead of the stock ones because of the easy to use layout, multiple personalization possibilities, the extra info and features that supports, such as Ava Sounds. In this video, I will show you how to download UC World, how to connect UC World to the electric unicycle, how to navigate basic parameters, and why it can be useful to have your wheel connected to the app while riding. In order to download UC World, make sure to have an Android phone or smartwatch. UC World can be downloaded via the Google Play Store. In order to connect the wheel to UC World, enable Bluetooth on the phone and turn on your wheel. The app should connect automatically to the wheel and start reporting the wheel stats onto the main screen. If it doesn't start automatically, you can click on the circle in the top mid screen, which should prompt the app to scan for devices manually. The unique Bluetooth name of your UC should now appear. Click and connect. Now, on to explaining basic parameters. On the main screen, you find the battery capacity in percentage, the EUC temperature, which you can set in either Fahrenheit or Celsius, and speed in miles an hour or kilometer per hour, according to your preferences. There are also speed and journey averages, which are self-explanatory. What I also check on the screen is the voltage. This is generally more accurate than the battery percentage. It gives me a better indication on voltage sag and an extra decimal value. As a practical example of how checking the wheel's voltage can be useful, I will tell you what had happened to my XNHT when I first bought it. Typically, as soon as I unplug my wheel from the charger, I check its voltage reading with the EUC World app. I am aware that it is not 100% accurate, however, it can be an indicator of something going wrong. In fact, my EXNHT was reading a voltage of 96 volts fully charged, whereas it should have been at 100.8 volts. That was not right. So, I took the wheel to my dealer and it was found that two packs weren't working properly. Both battery packs were changed under warranty before a fire hazard could have occurred. Moving on. When I ride, I keep my phone with UC World App on, attached to a wristband, so I can always check a few parameters that I think they are important for my riding safety. These are my speed, since I don't always hear the beeps, or to make sure I'm staying in an acceptable speed limit, depending on the type of road. I also keep an eye on the wheel's temperature to avoid overheating and damaging the motherboard. I have set a sound alarm via the app to beep at 60 degrees Celsius, just to be safe. I check the voltage to know how much battery I have in conjunction with the percentage, and also to keep an eye on the voltage sag, which can be useful to avoid EUC cutouts. Next, swipe the main screen down to find some GPS values, which are more accurate than the ones reported by the wheel. However, the GPS top speed is missing, which is a bit of a bummer. Hopefully, it will be added in later updates. Swipe the main screen to the right and you will find life data, statistics, current speed chart, life tour tracking if enabled, and charging data also if enabled. Some manufacturers like Kingston and Emotion allow for more info to be processed, whereas Bigodi offers less. So expect different data readouts according to manufacturer. Here, you will find a total number of miles, total miles of a single journey, peak power, temperature ranges, etc. Give it a read through, it can be interesting. Next, we will press the three dots on the right top corner of the app, which will bring us to the settings. Click on to general. Again, on here, most of the settings are quite self-explanatory. 
therefore, I will focus on what I've personally modified. Scrolling down to units of measurements, you can choose miles or kilometers and other units of preference. On battery level, you can fine tune the percentage to match exactly the voltage, which gives a more accurate reading. But this requires knowing exactly the voltage ranges of your wheel. Similarly, you can correct speed and distance if you know the values against GPS readouts. Again, you can mod it to match the GPS speed and distance. Click onto wheel. Click onto gauge to modify the look of it and values. You can also add functionalities such as double press it to activate horn or lights. Pretty handy. I have both data logging and tour recording activated and I have also extra features on the website. Next is alarm. I have enabled quite a few of them and I love how much personalization I can achieve with those. They sound via Bluetooth speaker, which I keep on my chest, so I hear them very well. I use the speed alarms, which offer a series of adjustments. I use the temperature alarm set to 60 degrees Celsius, as I mentioned before, as I want to be comfortable not to damage any electrical components. I'd rather stop a few minutes and let the wheel cool down a bit. I also use safety margin alarms in conjunction with the wheel set up to 20%. I don't use any other settings, but you can have a look and read through them just in case it applies to your preference. One that I love to use at times is Ava Sounds that can be activated if owning a premium membership, which I totally recommend. These work best, in my opinion, using the UC speakers, but they can be used also with an external Bluetooth sound system. These packages make your wheel sound like a trotting horse, a Harvey Davidson, a motocross ride. They are really cool and fun, especially looking at the confused passerby faces. I know it sounds weird, but it is worth trying them out. It definitely confuses some people out there, and they are quite entertaining. Ava sounds can be useful to make our silent vehicles be noticed, for example on shared foot and bike paths, where people can be distracted and run into us, or vice versa, but with Ava sounds it will be fairly impossible to ride unnoticed. And this concludes today's video. If you are interested to dig deeper into this fantastic app, the UC World website has all the info you need to know and more. You can also ask questions down below. Have a good one. Ciao, ciao.